Okay, let's look at um, this next example. The pediatrics unit at Carver Hospital has 24 beds. The number of patients needing a bed at any point in time is normally distributed with an average of 19.2 and a standard deviation of 2.5. So in this problem, um, we can see number one that we have a normal distribution. We have the mean, which is 19.2. And we have the standard deviation, which is 2.5. So we have a normal distribution. Average is in the center, 9.2. Standard deviation, 2.5. And the first question is, what is the probability that the number of patients needing beds will exceed that it will uh, exceed the pediatric unit's capacity. Well, let's see. Um, it says that they have 24 beds. So to exceed the capacity, that would be the probability that X is greater than or equal to 24. Actually, it would be that X is greater than 24. Okay. Not that it would make any difference because um, if you remember the uh, probability of being any particular value for a continuous random variable is zero. So we're going to make our mark here at 24. Um, 24 would be maybe up here because again um, the standard deviation is 2.5 so we're roughly two standard deviations from the center so my interval here uh, 24 to infinity I need the probability of being in that interval, so I need the area up in the upper end there of the distribution. So what I have to do is uh, uh, translate the 24 into a z-score. So I can use standard normal. So 24 subtract 19.2 over 2.5 is 1.92. So yes, almost two standard deviations. So this uh, probability that X is greater than 24 is the same as the probability that Z is greater than 1.92. And I need to take that to the table. Um, remember that the standard normal calculates the area under the density function from the center out to um, the Z value. So Let's go to the standard normal table and look up 1.92. 1 1.9, 1 and then in column 0.02, so 0.4726 would uh, be my value. So this area must be 0.4726. Now to get the area I want, I'm going to have to um, subtract that from 0.5. I know the upper half of my distribution is 50% of the probability. So 0.5 subtract 0.4726 is 0 0.0279 or 2.8, approximately 2.8%. So um, what is the probability that the number of patients needing beds will exceed the pediatric unit's capacity? There's a 2.8% chance of that happening. Not very likely. Okay, for part B. 90% of the time, at least how many beds will be needed? 90% of the time, at least how many beds will be needed. Okay, um, on this one, 90% um, of the time at least how many beds? So in this case we're given a probability or percentage and we're asked uh, for a location there in the distribution X. So X is going to answer the question. 90% of the time, that whole area there, 90%. 90% of the time, at least how many beds um, will be needed? That's the X. 
Now to do this problem, uh, to solve for x, I'm going to need the table, the standard normal table, and I'm going to need the um, the only formula I have that relates all these things together is the z-score formula. So I'm going to need the z-score value for this unknown x. And through the formula, that will help me be able to find x. Now to get that z-value, I'm going to have to look at the um, symmetric side of this. Because remember, the table only reads to the right. So I'm going to look up the positive z. I know that my z is negative. And the area that I'm going to have to look up there will be for the standard normal distribution. It will be, um, let's see, I got 50% to the right. Um, so this area on the left side is 0 0.40. So I'm going to have to look up 0 0.40 in the table. Try to find the um, area or probability that's as closest to that. Get my positive z value and then make it negative. So let's go to the table and see if we can get, see how close we can get to uh, 0 0.40. Um, zero. And that looks like 0.3997 is as close as I can get to 0.4. That is in row 1.2 and in column 0.08. So 1.28 would be my uh, z value. So this z value is 1.28. That means that the z value for my x is negative 1.28. I am on the uh, left side there. So um, I can say that negative 1.28 is x minus 19.2 over 2.5. And solving this for x, I would multiply both sides by um, 2.5 and then I would add 192 to that and then uh, calculate that um, to be 16. So the answer to the question 90% of the time at least how many beds will be needed at least 16 beds will be needed. Okay, for uh, part C there, 90% of the time, at least how many beds will be empty? At least um, how many beds will be empty? 90% of the time. Well, in that case, we would have Z equal to the positive 1.28 x minus 19.2 over 2.5 and again 1.28 will multiply both sides by 2.5 and add 192 So x is equal to 22.4. So let's see, the question is 90% of the time at least how many beds will be empty? 24 beds, subtract 22.4 or is 1.6. So at least 1.6 beds will be empty 90% um, of the time. So 1.6 beds, one or two, I guess, beds will be empty 90% of the time.